Hey guys and welcome back to another very interesting video of our channel Versatile Knowledge. In this video, I will be talking with you about the smartphone trends that we might get to see in 2019. In 2016, Apple removed the headphone jack or the 3.5mm headphone jack from the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus. That set a benchmark or a standard for other companies to follow Apple's footsteps and, and remove the headphone jack from their smartphones as well. In 2017, Apple launched the iPhone 10 with a notch on their display. But Apple had a purpose of putting a notch on their display. They had to put the hardware-based face authentication or the face ID which had to house different kind of sensors like the dot projector, flood illuminator, infrared sensor, front camera and a host of other sensors which served the purpose for face ID on the Apple iPhone 10. But other smartphone companies blindly copied Apple and added just a notch for their front-facing cameras. This became a trend for 2016 and 2017 and in 2018 we saw a lot of smartphone companies using that notch as a marketing strategy and marketing their smartphones as a notch display smartphone or a notch screen etc. We saw notches from a variety of smartphone makers from the bathtub notch to the tear drop notch, the water drop notch and a lot of other different notch displays. We also saw a trend where innovative slider smartphones were made like the Vivo Nex or the Oppo Find X. In 2019, we might be getting to see a lot of different trends that we will be discussing in this video. Let's get started. The first smartphone trend that we will be seeing in the smartphones in 2019 is 5G. The 5G is a revolutionary technology in the field of networking. It was introduced two years ago and it has been in research. The smartphone companies and the network operators have been trying very hard to bring in the 5G technology to the smartphones. The Qualcomm announced the Snapdragon 855 will be the world's first SoC which will support 5G. And in 2019, we might get to see a lot of smartphones using this 5G technology in their smartphones. But we are not sure in India that 5G will be coming in 2019. We might get to see 5G smartphones in India from mid 2020 or late 2020 as well because 5G has not been implemented by any network operators in India as of now. 5G smartphones might be released by companies like Samsung, Oppo, OnePlus in different western markets but in India it might take some time to get launched. The second technological trend that we might get to see in the smartphones is the presence of the punch hole display or the hole in the display for the front face in camera. We all saw the smartphones are following a trend of making sure that they have complete display on the front. For that implementation, the companies like OnePlus used notch or the teardrop display or the water drop display. The companies like OPPO went with that slider mechanism for housing the sensors and the camera. But in 2018 end, we saw a trend called a hole in the display in the front for the presence of the front camera. So this will be a trend in 2019 where the smartphone companies will follow the footsteps of Samsung Galaxy A8s or the Huawei Nova 4 which might be having the hole on the front display for the front camera. The next smartphone trend that we might get to see in 2019 is the presence of the AI or the artificial intelligence capabilities in more budget smartphones. We saw a wave of AI revolution in smartphones like the Asus Zenfone 5C, the uh, iPhone uh, 10s or 10s Max, the Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL using their uh, computational photography, the Huawei Mate 20 Pro and a lot of smartphones that was launched in 2018. But in 2019, we might get to see the processors like the Snapdragon 710 and the Snapdragon 675 serving the purpose of AI in the more budget smartphones. So in 2019, we might get to see the AI revolution coming to the budget category of phones as well. The next smartphone trend that we might get to see in 2019 is the presence of fast charging capabilities. The fast charging was a technology that was introduced a few years ago for smartphones and it has been in use for various Android smartphones but we are yet to see the budget smartphones using this fast charging and including the fast charging adapter inside the smartphone box itself. And in 2019 we expect USB type C in the budget smartphones and also the inclusion of the fast charging adapters inside the box of the smartphones. We got to see the super hook charge in the Lamborghini edition of the Oppo Find X which can charge the smartphone at 50 baht. We also got to see the Huawei Supercharge which can charge the smartphone at 40 baht. We got to see the warp charge from OnePlus 
which can charge the smartphone at 30 watt. And another trend that we might get to see in 2019 for smartphones is the launch of more game centric smartphones or gaming specific smartphones. We saw a launch of Asus ROG smartphone in 2018, the Razer Phone 2, the Xiaomi Black Shark and also other smartphones which had around 10 gigabytes of RAM or 8 gigabytes of RAM or liquid cooling as made specifically for gaming. And in 2019, we also expect companies like Razer or the Asus or the ZTE and many other smartphone makers launching many other gaming smartphones. One point that I would like to make here is the world of smartphones is not yet ready for a game centric smartphone. We as a smartphone consumers expect a smartphone to do everything from taking exceptional photographs, from giving outstanding performance, great memory management, outstanding batteries, outstanding selfie cameras, great display, great charging capacity. So we as a consumer expect almost everything in one particular smartphone as a package. A gaming smartphone, I don't know in what means would it stand out from other smartphones. If you take an example of a OnePlus 60 McLaren edition, it has a 10 gigabyte of RAM and 256 GB of storage. It can give out the same amount of performance that a game centric smartphone as ROG or a Xiaomi Black Shark is doing. I don't see much of a difference in a normal smartphone and gaming smartphone. So in 2019, we can see a lot of smartphone makers making specific smartphones for gaming and providing extra features that can help in smartphone hardcore gamers. So that's it for this video guys. If you have liked this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content ahead. Thank you for watching guys.